right, welcome in everybody. Joe Powers here with you again on another season preview for the 2023 high school football year of the Rob Ben and Joe Show, brought to you by our friends at the Houston Clinic and uh, none other than our good friend Lance Helton here, the head coach of Jeff Davis High School. Coach Helton, how you doing, my friend? Man, I tell you what, it's great to to, to be back. You know, uh, after a trying 2022 year, but uh, you know, it's it's still great to be a Jeff Davis Yellow Jacket. Ex- you know, late July, early August, it's always exciting to talk about high school football. And, uh, you know, we, Joe, we appreciate you guys having us on, being able to talk through uh, this season and just the coverage you give us. Oh, absolutely, Coach. I know, uh, you know, we we all have a, a heart for high school athletics and, and coaches and the students and the athletes. And I tell you what, it's nothing better than talking about football, like you said. We're happy to do it. Glad you're here. And, uh, Coach, uh, let's just – Let's kind of skip over uh, last year, but let's talk about the realignment that happened prior to last year and uh, the juggernaut of a schedule that's put in front of you because of that realignment and what you guys are looking forward to in your non-region and your region schedule coming up here in 2023. Yeah, you know, Joe, uh, realignment was difficult for us. We uh, we originally were put in an, uh, an East Georgia region and then got moved west down to the what a lot of people have historically called the SEC a double A football in <laughs> yeah. Region One. Region Where One, man. Fitzgerald, you know, you're talking Worth <laughs> County, Cook County, Dodge County, Americas. Uh, the list goes on and on. Berrien County. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, we had been good enough prior to our reschedule that we we had to bite off some big ones in our, our non region too. So we start our year with Charlton, Pierce, Swainsboro, Metter. So it doesn't. Uh, it doesn't climb. We, you know, we're right at the peak from the start, and uh, you know our, our kids have got to be tough to get it done. So, you know, I'm I'm really uh, excited about this year, Joe. Last year had us challenges. <clears throat> yes, you know, sir. Losing that senior class from 21 that won all those games, we were very young. Found ourselves starting five freshmen last year. Um, found ourselves just in a in a in a gauntlet of a schedule with a bunch of puppies, and we're still going to be a young team in 23. But, man, I, I think that, that the struggles, Joe, can either turn kids away or it can galvanize a group. And what we've done is really come together. And uh, I'm excited to see some growth in the 2023 season for the Yellow Jackets. Yes, sir. And, Coach, I, I don't care who you are. You put a schedule like that in front of a team, a program, and then you say, uh, oh, by the way, I'm going to give you five freshmen to start with and uh, you didn't climb the mountain, Coach. Somebody dropped you off out of a chopper right on top of the mountain and said, go get well, it, boys. You know? you know, Joe, we talked about it from the jump. You know, I think uh, everybody wants to consider themselves to go be one of the elite. And yeah. to be a good football team, I think you've got to go play good football teams. Right. I learned that all those years playing and, and at Washington County and, and coaching all that time for Coach Holmes. You know, you've got mm-hmm. to go mix it up early. You've got to be able to take your lumps and 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 learn how to do it if you want to be in that upper echelon. Mm-hmm. And for us, our young kids weren't quite ready for that last year. Um, but right now, we've got a great opportunity in 2023 to bow our necks, to see our growth model, yeah. and uh, to put ourselves in position to to climb back up the ranks of Double A. Oh yeah, and Coach, uh, you know, just the fact of the matter is, uh, and and you know this, I'm preaching to the choir in this one on one conversation, but uh, the the fact of the matter is, you take uh, those young men that are out there playing, and you take the the men that they're playing against, and you take the difference of time in a weight room and just body mass and maturity. You know, I was talking to Coach Burleson earlier today from uh, Telfair County, and. Uh, he joked and said this. He said, man, puberty is a great thing, right? When these kids get a little older and get to put a little more meat on their bones and, and get to, to build. So, that, you know, that makes a difference. And, uh, you know, I'm sure your guys will come out there and you will you will mark that progress in all the ways that, you know, a good head coach will and, and the execution and the details and, you know, the things about football that you can control uh, even uh, regardless of, of – the size of the person you're lined up against. So I'm sure you guys will measure that coming up this year and uh, we'll look forward to a great 2023. Now, coach, uh, let me ask you, who are some of the names of those young players that you're bringing back that we're going to be listening to this year? Well, you know, I think it starts with your seniors, you know, uh, every high school football coach, every high school football player 
we either remember our senior year or we look forward to our senior year. There's no in between, right? right? Right. And so football teams come and go as their seniors go. And for us, um, we've got a small senior class. There's nine of them. But, you know, there's some that, that have been with us for a long time. Um, Carter Mullis, our middle linebacker in Z-back, is uh, a guy that has been a three-year starter for us. And he didn't play at all as a junior. Mm. Uh, had a knee, He had a foot injury that really hurt him. Um, and, and it missed his entire junior year. And we're very excited to get Carter back. On the line of scrimmage, um, there are two seniors that, that are starting for us. And, and, and one is Lewis Pooh Bear Baker. He's been with us for a long time. He's my man. And then our center, <laughs> Trey Ray, um, is a senior name to, to keep remembering. Okay. You know, our, as far as juniors go, I think that the bell cow of our team, uh, once again, didn't play a single snap last year. He was our running back. Uh, they got hurt in the half pack camp, mm. and his name is Kyle Reese Hunt. Um, he's our H. He's our bell cow. We're really excited to get him back. Um, I think that we'll see a difference there. And our quarterback is coming back. His name's Colby Beach. He was a he was a puppy last year. Now, I mean, he 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 ain't even shedded that winter coat last year. I mean, he, he you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He, that, that his 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 puppy hair hadn't <laughs> fell out yet. So. He's matured. He's he's grown. You know, like Matt talked about puberty. I think it's a good thing for yeah. him. Um, you know, what we've got to get him to do is continue to lead. Um, and then, you know, the freshman guys that played for us last year, there, there's so many names, but it, I think it starts with two names. Um, one being Latrell Sellers, who's a wide receiver DB for us, and the other being a guy named Carter Galbraith, who's a linebacker uh, skill guy for us. So, we are a very young football team. Um, they got some toughness. Um, we'll just see if we can can channel them in the right direction in 23. I hear you, Coach. Well, uh, going to be uh, a, a tough road to hoe, but, again, you guys are up to the challenge there, no doubt about it. And I'm sure uh, all the people that watched that realignment process take place a couple of years ago now, uh, we're, we're uh, probably all thinking the same thing we're, we're discussing now. And, boy, that's a, that's a move. Right. <laughs> That's a move. So uh, let's talk a little bit about that. And uh, just the, the, the kids and the community and everything that you've been building then there, Coach Helton. Again, talking to Coach Lance Helton, the head coach at Jeff Davis High School, brought to you by our friends at the Houston Clinic. Uh, coach, let's talk about all that, uh, because I've, I've been down there. I've visited. I've watched your program yep. play. And uh, you just got the, the things going in the right direction down there. So let's talk about that community for a minute. Well, you know, when we got to Jeff Davis in 2017, Joe, they, they hadn't made the state playoffs in over 20 years. Mm -hmm. Hadn't won a playoff game in 25 years. And uh, we were really lucky in 17 to break that streak in our first year on a Monday night play-in mini game against Swainsboro. Right. First time we beat Swainsboro since 1995. So that was a, a thing that kind of kick-started us in the right direction. And, and you know, we, we went through in 18, made the playoffs, lost to Dodge. In 19, five-way tie for first going into week 10, lost to Metter in the last minute of the game. And there were some, just some things that happened there that, that it was our first year making the playoffs. We were seven and three. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, coming into the 2020 season, we knew we had a lot coming back, Joe, and I think that started, you know, it was the first time in back-to-back -back seasons, Jeff Davis had ever won 10 games. And uh, we were able to win that first playoff game, um, which was – it was very special for me against my alma mater of Washington County. Right. Um, and then 21, we go in and have a really great season, um, lose a region championship in the last minute of the game to Swainsboro and get the toughest draw in the state in the second round going up there to play Gunnar Stockton. Yeah. So we had done some really good things. And uh, I think that that the the way we had done things for five years kind of put us on notice, and and from a scheduling standpoint, it made things difficult. Mm -hmm. And then from a realignment standpoint, I think it made it an easy transition for the for to push it over. Um, and and you know, look, we ain't out here crying about about uh, spill mix. If you got a tough if you got a tough steak, you got to keep chewing it. That's you know right, what I'm man. saying that's right. So we get we just kind of focused and and we found a transition last year, Joe, mm -hmm. where, you know, we had a bunch of young kids that, you know, our schedule got voted the toughest in the state in our classification, 
and they they were just really young and they had to keep battling. I was so proud of them. Mm -hmm. You know, and the thing that I think turned it around for us, Joe, was number one, to be honest with you, I was lost as a duck in the desert, right? It was our first <laughs> losing season. We didn't, you know, we, we were the blind leading the blind. And I leaned on guys like Coach Holmes during that time. Right. And he told me, you know, the focus at that point is in your season with a win. You know, because when you think about that, Joe, yeah. in my entire coaching career, I never ended my season with a win. And mm -hmm. going into that game 10, you know, we went and played Americas and we got down 19 nothing before the lights came on. Mm -hmm. You know, and our kids battled back and won that football game. And it was that taste that, that I think has driven us through this offseason. Now, the truth is, we still young. Half our team got to have a parent with them when they drive a car, right? They got learner's <laughs> permit. Right. Okay. So uh, that's okay. But, you know, I've seen growth and I've seen them come together. Mm, yeah. and, and I've seen a hunger. You know, the great deal about this football team is they've tasted the 10 win season and they tasted a real struggle. Yeah. Which one do you like more? What are you willing to do to go get it? <laughs> That's right. And uh, that's kind of been our, our message this this summer. This summer has been very, very uh, good for us. We're kind of, you know, like like many people now, the, the thing that you fight in a football season is the numbers game in general. We got a roster of, of about 60 kids, and they come together every day. They tell each other they love them. And, and it's, it's, it's a really good thing. I do hope that our culture can keep pushing through. You know, everybody has dips. Great programs have dips. Oh, yeah. Um, and you just got to kind of keep the main thing the main thing. And uh, it reminded me, last year reminded me of our 2012 season at Dublin and how that kind of, you know, we, we had that deep run in 11, 12 mm -hmm. happened, and then you just kind of had to keep plugging away and chipping. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's kind of where we're at right now. This is a big transition year for us, Joe, uh, but it's one that, that we ain't going to make excuses. We're going to – we're going to line up and, 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 and tie our shoes and we're going to go play. That's right. And coach, I, I think one of the things that I just love about, uh, you know, the seat that I sit in, which is getting to talk to all of you wonderful coaches uh, throughout the season and the off season as well, you know, is I love to hear uh, the character and the program that you've built down there and what you're, you know, instilling in that uh, young men's locker room there and in that community and in your program. And that's, you know, that's, that speaks volumes because you see it and we see it, uh, you know, from afar sitting and watching. And uh, I know how tough it is when you're in the valley and I know how good it is when you're on the mountaintop. And uh, you guys do a great job of, you know, reminding them of just what you just said. You know, keep the main thing the main thing. And, you know, I never thought about that, Coach, the ending your uh, your season with a win because I never did either, right? Sure. <laughs> so that's yeah, interesting. I mean, yeah, it was a big it was a big thing. And I tell you what was awesome, Joe, and I didn't mean to cut you off. No. Dave, but the deal is in one stop like towns mm -hmm. like Hazelhurst and, and, and Jeff Davis County, mm -hmm. you know, you should have seen the amount of people we had in that America's game. You should have seen the amount of support that our young kids got during the struggles. Mm -hmm. And, and it's, it's awesome to be a part of towns that understand that the game of football is very important to the maturization of young men. That's right. You know, and I, I stand firm in this. I think outside of the military lifestyle, organized football creates men mm -hmm. as much as anything. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's awesome. And I, I, I say this and we laugh about it, but I, I do believe this. And the, the mantra of our town is when you're wearing Navy, you're as good as gold. And it, it's still true today. And I'm, I love being a Jeff Davis Yellow Jacket, and I'm thankful to our town for supporting these kids. You know, it's easy to support us when we were 9-0. and 0, Yeah, yeah. You know, but the great deal about Jeff Davis County is the way they care about the Jackets. Mm -hmm. And that's good stuff right there. I love it. And, uh, Coach, again, I just – I go back to the opportunity I had to come and watch uh, you guys play there, and I got to watch you play against Swainsboro. You know, that was just an amazing – event to watch and uh, just watching the the school and the community and look forward to seeing that again here in 2023 so as you said these uh these guys uh are going to go out there and battle it's going to be an interesting year again but you guys are going to come out swinging uh every single week i'm sure about that tell us what you got going on between now and opening date uh what's left on your agenda got any otas going on or any any other uh, specialty things 
Yeah, a lot of practice. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, uh, we're going to West Lawrence tomorrow to to, to their OTA. Okay. Uh, I've known Coach Burdett a long time. Yep. So we're going to go up there. Um, we've got uh, a media day this weekend. Um, I'm going to take the two Helton kids and my wife out Saturday night, and it'll be kind of our last hoorah dinner. You know, we'll do acclimation next week. Um, and then it'll be it'll be on, right? So we've got two weeks. We won't play week zero scrimmage. We'll open up with the scrimmage against Atkinson County. Okay. Um, but it's it's now time to start refining. It's time to put packages in, right? Work on situational football um, mm-hmm. and understand the ebbs and flows of the game. So, you know, emphasis on special teams, emphasis on how we navigate depth charts, and emphasis for us, Joe, on how to create the one and a half way player. You know, in small high school football, oh yeah, everybody. You know, your good ones need to be on the field, but we really try to focus on the one and a half way player. Who's got? Where's the better backup at? And how can we rest that kid where he can still go in the fourth quarter? Right. And uh, that's kind of a game plan, a recipe of success for us. And uh, still trying to create, you know, the type of toughness and the type of Jeff Davis football that that makes our town proud. I hear you, Coach. Well, certainly do look forward to uh, talking to you again as the season goes along and uh, certainly look forward to uh, seeing the results of your OTAs there with West Lawrence. I was talking to Coach Burdett earlier again today, and he was mentioning your name and program uh, about that scrimmage coming up. Uh, so that's uh, going to be a lot of fun, I'm sure. And uh, we also want to tell you guys a couple of things there in your community uh, as we move into the football season here on the Rob Ben Joe High School Scoreboard Show. Thing one – as you know, Coach, uh, we give out Player of the Week uh, helmet stickers uh, to offense, defense, and special teams in the second hour of our show each and every week. Well, we are going to uh, use that to offer scholarship uh, this year to a player. So uh, that's something that we are deciding to do again to give back to the the real reason we're all here, and that's the, the high school uh, athletes and the kids that are out there in the field playing each and every night. Uh, so we're going to, through the thanks of our sponsors, give a scholarship at least one opportunity back this year to a student. So we look forward to talking to you and hearing those uh, players of the game uh, from Jeff Davis so we can put them in that uh, mix. And also, uh, we have created a new streaming uh, radio station, WRBJRadio.com. It'll be the greatest hits and sports for you right there. So we look forward to you guys tuning in and listening to that with the launch of our scoreboard show this season you can follow us on our radio station, and maybe we can include some more of those Jeff Davis uh, athletes and athletics uh, going through the season. And uh, so we want to make sure you guys and your listening audience are aware of that as well. Well, listen, I, I appreciate everything you guys do for us, Joe, um, and, and your passion for high school football. We all know, right, that you were the face of this program, that Rob is the voice <laughs> and Ben is the loud opinions, right? That's right. And uh, – I say that jokingly. Yeah. You, you guys are awesome, and I appreciate it to, to, to everybody out there. I promise, Joe, I've not been living in a cave. <laughs> I just said I wasn't going to shave my beard till we got another win. That's the only thing, man. So we, we're working, man. Hey, I hear you, brother. I just try to get hair to grow somewhere. That's all. I just, you know, <laughs> wherever I can get it to grow, I'll take it. So, uh, Coach Lance Thank Helton you, of the Jeff Davis Yellow Jackets, we appreciate you taking time with us here again, brought to you by our Houston Clinic. Uh, Coach Davis, uh, I'm sorry, Coach uh, Helton, I'll give you the last word. Is there anything else you want to share before we let you go? Shoot, I, I appreciate you guys out there for, for supporting high school football. I think high school football, you know, there's a lot of things around this country that try to put our sport up in arms. Mm-hmm. And uh, we need guys like like Rob and, and Joe and Ben and, and you guys' support to keep this game alive because I think when this game is alive – it continues to create men that can lead our country and lead workforces and lead families, right? We talk about keeping the main thing the main thing, and, and that's what the game does. I hear you. Um, so I really appreciate you. When you're wearing Navy, you're as good as gold, man. Go I Jackets. Hear you. Go Jackets. Thank you, Coach. Lance Helton, the head coach of Jeff Davis Yellow Jackets. We appreciate you. We'll talk to you again real soon. 